Welcome to the Skull Report, y'all. This is uh, Jeff Cran. Uh, most people here on YouTube know me as Valhalla, but this is the Skull Report. Um, it is the Vikings Eagles preview show. Um, got to give you an idea of the Vikings latest opponent, um, when it's going to take place, and kind of invite you to join us on our Valhalla Sports Talk live stream um, during the game. But uh, yeah, it's Vikings tough week this week. They're all tough when you lose, but an opening game against Tampa Bay that they, I think many of us thought they should have been able to win and uh, they just didn't get it done. Too many turnovers, um, too many mistakes and uh, Baker Mayfield and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers took advantage of them and they ended up with the victory. Um, Philadelphia, this week's opponent, Managed to get a win last week, so they'll be trying to go 2-0 and when they take us on this Thursday night on Amazon Prime Video. And uh, Valhalla Sports Talk will be there for all the action. We'll be doing our live stream like we always do for all the Vikings game. We invite you to come out and check it out. We have a good time in there. The V Homies and the Berserkers always show out in force. So looking forward to that and hope to see you all there. But let's take a quick look at kind of like what's going on here. So what this video is, is kind of an important video on the channel because I hope to do more standalone content instead of uh, instead of just doing live streams all the time. Um, I hope to do standalone content um, for all my teams. You all, if, you're, if you've been on the channel before, you know that uh, most of my teams represent Los Angeles. Uh, when you talk about the Dodgers, the L.A. Kings and the... Uh, Los Angeles Lakers, but I have that weird team um, since birth, basically, uh, the Minnesota Vikings uh, that I rep. So there'll be content for all four of those teams, as well as uh, breaking news on the shorts and all that stuff. But um, yeah, we're going to try to try to shake things up here, try to take this thing to the next level. And I'm looking forward to it. Um, looking forward to uh, putting kind of my opinions out there, which is something I've never been crazy comfortable doing um, because everybody's got an opinion, right? But hopefully hopefully it's uh, content that po most people like and they want to uh, see more of. But let's get right into this. We're going to go to what we call our stats page, okay? I'm going to move over there now. And uh, this week's opponent, as I mentioned, is the Philadelphia Eagles. The Vikings will go on the road. The Eagles will host their first game at home on the season. Vikings trying to get their first win. Eagles trying to go 2-0. and um, These two teams, last time they played, just happened to be week two of last week of last year. Um, week two on a Monday night. And the Eagles pretty put a pretty big whooping on the Vikings in week two of last week. So hopefully the Vikings can uh, can turn that around. Um, matchup predictor, according to ESPN Analytics, as you see above me, um, doesn't give the Vikings much of a chance. They say 64.7% of the people think that the Eagles will win, 35 for the Vikes. Um, quick math, I'm no mathematician, but it seems like we've got about 0.3% missing there. Those must be people that don't know or or don't care. But this game will take place at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Um, it'll be a 5:15 start. It's going to be televised on Amazon Prime Video. And as I mentioned, we'll be there doing our live watch party. Uh, as of now, game time weather is expected to be 74 degrees and not no not a cloud in the sky. Um, as we're sitting here, today is two Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, and uh, Philadelphia is a six and a half point favorite as of today. Yesterday they were seven point favorites. So there are some people putting some money on the bikes. Uh, the over under in this game is forty nine. Um, at the end of this video, I'll give you my prediction of what how I think this thing's going to end up. But big game and defending NFC champions um, in the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, the Vikings trying to find themselves with this uh, new defensive alignment under Brian Flores. Uh, Kevin O'Connell, the honeymoon is over with Vikings fans, apparently, if you look at what's going on on Twitter as of this week. Um, Quesia Dofa Mensa also catching a lot of flack this week. Uh, people looking back on his draft picks 
uh, since he's taken over the helm of this Vikings organization. So the pressure is only going to mount as long as the Vikings um, are looking for that first win, right? But here's what we got going for these two teams as of right now. For the Vikings, uh, Kirk Cousins leads the Vikings in passing. Of course, he's their quarterback. Um, 33 for 44, 344 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. On the other hand, Hurts for Philadelphia, 22 of 33 last week, 170 yards with one touchdown. The rushing leaders for both of these teams, not very impressive. Um, Alexander Madison, who has taken over for Dalvin Cook, who is now a New York Jet, um, kind of struggled last week. Um, 11 carries, 34 yards. He did run hard, though. He did run hard. It was tough to tackle him. So we'll see what he can do on Lincoln Financial Field this week. Um, Kenny Gainwell leads Philadelphia, 14 carries, 54 yards. Receiving. This is where the Vikings hope to make their butter this year on offense. Justin Jefferson had a huge first half against the Bucks, going nine for 150. But he was virtually non-existent in that second half, and he looked very disappointed after the game on the Vikings' sideline. Um, A.J. Brown leads Philadelphia, seven receptions, 79 yards. So Hurts to Brown, Cousins to Jefferson on offense. Defense, defense, let's talk about that a little bit here. And we'll come back to some of this other stuff. Well, let's talk about the team stats for these two teams, okay? Yards passing, Vikings 344 yards last week. Philadelphia 267. Advantage Vikings or because the Vikings were down. Um, yards rushing, 41 yards for the Vikes, 97 total out of that Philly backfield. Philadelphia is stacked at running back. They're about four running backs deep. Um, so the Vikings are going to have to try to stop that Philly running game as well. Yards allowed. Minnesota allowed 173 yards last week. This is the stat that kind of got me like, hmm, maybe we got a chance. Um, 316 pass yards allowed by the Eagles last week. Now, that could have been because they were ahead and the team was coming back, you know, trying to come back. But 316 is a pretty big number in the passing game for the opponent. Um, rushing yard allowed by the Vikes last week was 73 yards. Philly allowed 76, so it's about a wash right there. Um, as I mentioned, Vikings lost to Tampa Bay. Um, the Eagles ended up beating New England in New England. New England, uh, they jumped up on them pretty quick. Uh, Philly jumped up on the Patriots really fast, and the Patriots found themselves in that second half, but not enough to get it done. And uh, the, uh, the Eagles get that win 25 to 20. Injury report for this game as of Wednesday, as we were talking about. Um, for the Vikings, Garrett Bradbury, the center, is now listed as questionable. I thought he was showing his out just earlier today, but as of right now, it says questionable. Christian Derrissaw, the offensive tackle, questionable. And Marcus Davenport, the linebacker, free agent acquisition, is questionable as well. Philadelphia on the injury side. Fletcher Cox, a big loss for them at defensive tackle. He's showing as questionable. Reed Blankenship, the safety, is questionable. Um, James Bradbury, the corner, is questionable. And the biggest loss for Philly was Nicobe Dean, who is now on the IR and will miss the next four weeks of the NFL season. Uh, Kenneth Gainwell, the running back, is also listed as questionable. So, I don't know, a few more injuries on that Philly side. I think some of the names are bigger, but Bradbury is a huge loss for the Vikes, and hopefully they can overcome that. Um, currently, standings-wise, uh, Minnesota sits last in the NFC North with an 0-1 record. They've got Green Bay, Detroit, both have wins, and Chicago is 0-1 along with the Vikes. In the NFC East, Dallas, Philadelphia, and Washington all got wins, but the Giants took that big L. So Philly will be trying to stay in at least a tie for first place in the National League East. Let's take a quick trip to Twitter to see what the latest news is as we sit here um, around midday at noon. Go right to the Vikings page here. Um, looks like the Vikes are getting ready 
uh, to depart. We got a couple pictures of Daniil Hunter and Mr. Jefferson uh, with their bags packed, headed to Philadelphia. Uh, the final injury report, we just talked about this. Here's what I must have seen. Bradbury is now listed as out for the Vikings. Derisaw and Davenport were both limited in practice today on Wednesday and are still listed as questionable. But that's kind of where we're at. Um, just like I said, a quick preview video is all I was trying to do here. And uh, like to encourage you, if you're if you're new to the channel or if this is the first time you found us, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow this channel. It's about three and a half years old. Um, turn on those bell notifications so you know when we go online. And uh, like the video. I'd appreciate it. We need a little encouragement as I set out on this new venture to try to create more content here on YouTube. Um, but looking forward to this game. Um, and as I mentioned, we will be having our live watch party. Um, I usually go on about 30 minutes prior to the game to visit with the V homies and the berserkers, as we like to call them here on the channel. But I hope to see you there. Everybody have a great rest of your Wednesday. And wait a minute. I'm supposed to give you a prediction, a prediction on who's going to win this. I'm going to say that the Vikes are going to keep it close, surprisingly but that it's going to be 24-23 Eagles with the victory. With that being said, hope I'm wrong. Skull Vikings. We'll see you in the next video.